right, you guys. So, <laughs> I have a new phone, and I think it's possessed and that it hates me because I swear I hit record and I thought it was recording, and I guess it wasn't, and then it randomly decided to turn itself off. So, I was in the middle of this um, vase pour, and I don't even know if it's worth finishing recording at this point because you missed everything. I don't even know. Um, basically, all I did was I set up my vase on the canvas, I wiped on the vase with rubbing alcohol right there. I'm doing warm color palettes, orange, yellow, red, gold, and I was thinking about throwing some black in there. And I was just pouring and it just, you know, flipping shut off on me. So I'll keep recording this now, I don't know if it's worth it at this point, but whatever, stupid phone. Need to figure out what's going on with it. So, anyway, I'm just gonna keep going, I guess. <laughs> ah, freaking phones. Technology, guys, right? I don't even know what color I was on. I think I was on gold. But, yeah. Dumb. Now I'm angry. Dumb phone. So, I was just saying, you know, you just kind of layer your colors on there, or you can pour everything into a cup and do like a dirty dirty pour that way or you can just overboard your red like that and see what it does because that was way too much red because now I'm angry you know what I don't know why technology has to hate me so much dumb technology and I was saying keep a canvas under your vase because you are going to get some cool things happening with your runoff paint and you can do a painting afterwards here. And I have this popsicle stick because there's some areas here that are not wanting to move. So I'm kind of just helping them along down this back edge. I don't know what the other side looks like, but it looks like it is covering better than the front side. I think my vase is not level so I'll have to pour more down this next time on this side so that was a whole lot hopefully that helps <laughs> really that just really grinded my gears you guys so I was also saying that the glass will dry much faster than a canvas because canvas is porous and glass is not. But. And you really definitely want to check your sides like I'm doing here because there is nothing worse than having to try to do a patch job on an area you missed because I've done that before. And it is by no means fun. And then what I actually do after I pour the pull the base off the canvas is I kind of babysit it. <clears throat> and I go around the bottom of the, I guess where the opening of the vase is, and I scrape off the drip off, because I don't know what that does when it dries, but I don't want to sit there and have to clean up the lip of the vase if I don't have to. So 
So I said I was going to use black. I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I don't know if that'll mesh well with what's going on here. And I probably should have put a bigger canvas under this vase because that is just a small um, <clears throat> six by six, or actually maybe it's a ten by ten. I think it's a ten by ten, and it is going to have more than enough paint on it to do a tilt. There's actually probably enough paint on here now to drip down. Just these bases with this big, I don't know what this is called, so it's bigger and then it has this real small neck, um, is where I've noticed you have the most trouble with getting that full coverage that you're looking for. I'm just walking around the edge here to make sure everything is dripping and covered. I'm going to cover the black up because I'm not going to use it. <clears throat> okay. Just get back here. Looks like I got everything. I don't necessarily know if I want gold to be the last color on here. So, kind of scoping out my sitch. There's a lot of yellow, a lot of red towards the top of the base. So I think I'm going to do, I don't have a whole lot of this orange left. See how that starts looking. Oh my gosh, sorry to be out of you guys. <sighs> it is hot in here and I'm thinking my body's like, hey, we need to go take a nap. Saturday afternoon, nap. Alright, so while that starts kind of finishing its dripping, I'm going to kind of just clean my bottles off because I got them all messy. And then we will very, very, very carefully remove the base from the canvas. And I'm just going to put it on my table, nor special, because my table is already covered in paint. What is this? There's a little something right here. Well, now I'm not sure I want orange as the last color. Dang it. Okay. Just a mess. I think I'm going to just add a little bit more red to the top and have that be the last color. Sorry, I know the camera is like super close to the top of that vase, so my hand's probably in the way half the time, but such is the Okay, so I don't know what that's going to do. I'm going to let that drip for a minute. Um, I'm going to go get a drink while that's dripping. I'll fast forward through this or cut it out and then we'll move the vase and move forward. Okay, so <clears throat> the problem I'm now realizing is that the cup that I put this on, there's like this much room between the canvas and the vase 
and I honest to God have no idea how I'm going to, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, <coughs> the wind kicked up and is killing my allergies again. Um, I don't know how I'm going to pick it up and move it. Dang it. This is just turning into a disaster, you guys. Um, I mean, I could try to, like, popsicle stick it, but I don't necessarily think that's going to work. Um, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I may just have to screw up the paint job underneath and just get real flippin' dirty here. Okay. So the good thing is you can touch the top of this area because that's the bottom. I mean, who cares, right? <sighs> Frick. Okay. And I have chubby fingers, you guys. This, if I had little fingers, this would be easier. But I don't. I have chubby fingers. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do it. Okay. Oh, frick. Put my finger in it. It's okay. It's still kind of dripping. Ugh, my gosh. This has just turned into a nightmare of a video. I don't know if I'm going to post this, to be perfectly honest, at this point in time. I don't know, you guys. I just don't know. Um, so, like, like I said, I just put my finger all up in the side of it. Um, looks like it's going to be okay, though, I think. I think it'll keep running. Okay, so let's do this. So see, it creates really cool patterns, guys. So you definitely want to do this over a canvas. And you kind of get like this, um epicenter where the paint squooshes in from where the cup was sitting. I don't know if the word squoosh in is probably not the right word there. Oh geez. Just dripped. I'm just gonna call it quits guys. <laughs> this whole thing has been a bust. I don't even know. I don't even know if I want to try to get it back here to check out what's going on because I do have two wine glasses back here that I did a test on and I don't want to frick I don't want to mess those up but I think this is okay oh goodness gracious all right I'm gonna wash my hands I'm gonna be back in a few again Okay, <clears throat> this was just a few minutes later. I just went and washed my hands. Um, I don't necessarily think this is going to sell just because the paints were actually mixed together. Um, but I'll pull you down for a close up on the painting and the vase. And then I think I have my grouchy pants on, so I'm probably just going to go, I don't know, take a nap. <laughs> so the painting is really neat. Like I said, the dripping down from the base causes really cool patterns like that's pretty cool with the gold that's what that color is guys I know it looks silver in this light but that is gold and this little red like plume thing so that's cool okay here's the vase So you can see it's still dripping some, but <clears throat> I needed to get it off the canvas so I could tilt the canvas. And, and then I just stopped my camera. Definitely need to be done for that day, I swear. Okay, so this is the back side. I can't even see back there, so I'm kind of trying to... Oh, jeez. I just hit the painting with my hand. I'm done. Done, guys. 
Okay, so I'm pulling this back around without screwing anything up. Um, <clears throat> let me just try to fix that little spot I screwed up. I'm painting. Okay, so <clears throat> down here you can see it's still dripping, obviously. So what I do is I kind of babysit it. And I come through and I kind of just get these little drips off with a stick. Because um, honestly, I don't know necessarily what that would look like if it was still I mean if it dried if those little drips would be like a nuisance to try to get rid of and to be perfectly honest if you've seen my videos you know <clears throat> I'm impatient so I don't have time to want to try to figure that out so anyway this was kind of like a failed video <laughs> I do love the painting. The vase, we'll see. I feel like I had some difficulty there and I did stick my finger in it. Let me see that area. I stuck my finger like right there. So anyway, <sighs> I'm going to be done now. Uh, there's the wine glasses that are drawing from previous video. So today's afternoon experiments were a struggle. The struggle was real. That's all. Mostly because of this stupid phone. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining me in this experimental endeavor. And hopefully my next video will not be quite so crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time.